We received another shop card in the mail this week from Zeno Blevins, C-Tops Garage. Thanks very much, Zeno. That's a neat looking card. Check out his channel. He's got some really nice builds on there. Another great member of the community. So this is the kit I'll be doing for the Rustification Nation group build. It's the 1925 Model T Ford 2-in-1 kit. It's the second half of the kit. The chopped coupe uh, comes with two sets of uh, windows, clear and red, as you can see here. It comes with four white walls and uh, regular tires and two wide, uh, narrow white, wide tires with narrow white walls. Uh, it comes with a big chrome tree. It's got uh, chromed steel wheels. It's got these really sweet uh, chrome moon disc covers. Um, fenders, firewall. It's got a lot of chrome. I have to decide if it's going to stay. A lot of this may be dechromed because it's going to be more rusty. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll be using those tires. I might save them for a, a nicer looking build. And it's a trophy series, so it comes with this uh, trophy here. It's chromed uh, trophy. Let me see if I can focus this better here. So I'm looking forward to doing this next. Uh, stay tuned. I've got most of the parts off of the trees and sorted into sub-assemblies. i got the engine pretty well put together here, ready for paint. These are the other uh, engine parts. Uh, just the uh, carburetor covers are going to be chromed and some of the radiator cover and lights. Um, there's a lot of extra parts that don't show up on the instruction sheet. Uh, I've got them in the little container here and this these rods, I'm not sure if they, where they go yet or if they're even being used. A lot of the uh, suspension and uh, steering linkage and then the rest of the engine parts, the headers there, I've dechromed. I put them in a little baggie with some oven cleaner and uh, left them for a couple of days. I haven't been able to get to the bench for a couple of days. So they just need to be washed up. Um, the rest has been cleaned up here. The, I've got some of the stuff uh, taped off and some poster putty here to mark the glue joints. Uh, just working towards getting as much assembled as I can before I start to paint. I ordered some small watch parts from Amazon and I'll use this little lever here to attach a generator to the engine block. The instructions for this kit are kind of vague. Uh, it looks like a bad photocopy. Um, they just have uh, all the parts listed here and then uh, some instructions here where to put things and attach them. Um, but in the pictures, like there's no arrows to show where these go, a lot of these parts. So it was kind of self-intuitive. Um, I'll show some pictures uh, where I put mine. I took some uh, reference from the um, build that Tom, old Tom at Rambler 69 he built this kit a few years ago and uh, he did a really nice job on his. I'll put a link to his video. Uh, it came out really nice. He painted it up real well. The chrome came out really nice. And I was uh, researching, looking at his uh, video to see where he lined, where he lined everything up. Um, so I'll try to put some pictures of mine, uh, close-ups to see how everything fit together. And I, of course I stripped all the chrome off of my parts to get it all glued together. Uh, before I prime it and uh, make it look rusty.